Okay, so now for this question, we will also account for the disposal. Remember, disposal refers to the asset that we just sold off. Now, how do you account for this asset? So what we do is we will create a separate account for disposal, which will be a temporary account in order to calculate the profit or loss on this sale. All right, so what I'll do is I'll first go through the double entry for recording disposal and then I'll draw the account. So remember the first step was we have to remove this asset. So we have to remove it from the cost account. So what I can do is the simple double entry is I will credit my asset account because I have to remove it, which we did in the cost account earlier. And I will transfer this to the disposal account. So I will debit the disposal account. Remember, it's a temporary account just created to calculate the profit or loss. So the first step is to remove it from the cost account. Okay, the next step, I'll also draw the disposal account simultaneously. So on the debit side of this account, you can record the original cost of the asset. That's the first step. All right, so the next step should be to remove it from the depreciation account. So I have to remove this disposal asset from the provision for depreciation account, which we just did in the previous video. So if you guys refer to the previous video, I debited the provision for depreciation account because remember depreciation is a contra asset. So depreciation essentially decreases my asset from the credit side. So if I have to reduce depreciation, so it should, it should come on the debit side over here. And I will transfer this depreciation to the disposal account. So I will credit the disposal account with the depreciation value. So I will write provision for depreciation on the credit side over here. All right, and the next step would be to sell this asset. So you would sell this asset or record this, the sale of the asset. You will sell the asset in this case. So let's say if you're selling it through bank, I should say bank should be debit since we're receiving money for it. Bank goes up and I will credit the disposal account with the disposal proceeds. So on the credit side, you can write bank. You sold off this asset for this value. Now you will balance this account to, to find the gain or loss. If it's a loss, you will transfer this to the income statement. So the loss, if it comes on the credit side, it should be a loss. I can highlight this over here. If it's a gain, it should come on the debit side. Over here. So we can also enter the entry for gain or loss as well. So in the case of a loss, if I can just write step four over here, in the case of a loss, remember it should go to the income statement as an expense. So income statement should be debit and disposal should be credit, which I just did. This is the case of a loss. If it's a gain, then it should be credited in the income statement account because it's a gain and the disposal account essentially is debited over here. All right, so, so that's how the disposal account should look like. Now what I'll do is I'll do the disposal account for the question that we just did in the previous video. Yeah, so if you guys just recall, we just did this question where in this case, the disposal was of two assets. One was M2 and one was M3. Now we know that we sold M2 for 10,200 and we sold M3 for 13,000. We know the cost of M2 was 15,000. The cost of M3 was 20,000. We also calculated their depreciations too. So let me just show the depreciation figures. Yeah, so our depreciation table wa was something like this. The depreciation of M2 was 3,000 and the depreciation of M3 was 7,200. All right, now with this data, let's draw the disposal account for M2 and M3 in this question. All right, so if I first draw the disposal account for M2, on the debit side, I will write the original cost of M2. This was 15,000 that we just saw. Then remember, we will write the depreciation. So I can write the provision for depreciation. We just credited the disposal account. 3,000 is the total depreciation amount. I just did all the entries for you. 
Now we can write bank. I sold M2 for 10,200. That's the price at which I sold M2. Now, even before you guys find the balancing, calculate for yourself the gain or loss. So you can say I bought an asset for 15,000. I depreciated it by 3,000. So the value of that asset must be 12,000. I sold it for 10,200. So I got less money, which means that it's a loss for me. And the amount of loss is 1,800. So you should write income statement. This is a loss. The balancing figure should come here, 1,800. And you close off this account. That's the disposal account for M2. All right, so gain or loss should be calculated first by yourself and then you should enter it into the disposal account. Similarly, for disposal of M3, first record the cost. It was acquired for 20,000, that's the original price. Then we just saw the depreciation for M3 is 7,200. You can write that over here. Then record bank, we sold this for 13,000. So if I do the calculation, I got this asset for 20, I've depreciated it by 7,200. That means that this asset is worth 12,800 today. That's the net book value. I'm, I'm selling this asset for 13,000 now. That means I'm making a gain. I'm selling it above its net book value, so I'm making a gain of 200. Now, where should I record the gain, the balancing figure? It should now come on the debit side. That's a gain of 200. And then you can say your account will be balanced. So this side is also 20,200. This side is also 20,200. And you close off the disposal account. All right, so that's how your disposal account should look like. So to summarize it up, this is how your dis disposal account will look like at, at the end. The cost will come on the debit side. I've done the entry over here. Then record the depreciation. How much have you depreciated the asset in total, the accumulated depreciation. The bank is the sales proceed. At what price did you sell the asset? And then you will, f you will find the gain or loss. The loss should come on the credit side gain on the debit side but before that my advice is to first find the gain or loss mentally so that you you should know whether the firm is making a gain or loss and then enter it into the disposal account so just compare the net book value with the price at which you sold the asset and you all should remember net book value is equal to cost minus accumulated depreciation all right, so I hope this helps you guys. I'm going to do some other questions on depreciation in the next video.